Take it easy. Well, was I right, huh? Isn't he something? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's something. <laughs> he really is. He really likes you, Joe. Oh, well, we go back a long way. And you really like Charlie, don't you? Well, we're best friends. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you love him? The question is, didn't I love him? Well, now, listen, love is... Well, extreme term, Joe, don't you think? I mean, what you're really asking is, didn't I like him? Yeah, did you like him? No. <laughs> oh, Joe, I don't think Charlie and I really were crazy about each other. What are you talking about? You two really hit it off. He said he liked you the minute he walked in. Uh-uh, no. He said he loved me the minute he walked in. How can he love me? He doesn't even know me. Besides, I don't trust anybody who likes me right away. Okay, Rhoda. If you don't like Charlie, it's not worth you being uncomfortable. Mm -mm. No, we'll break a couple of dinner dates. No big deal. No, no, Joe, listen to me. I want to like the guy. I really do. But I don't know how I can be friends with him if he keeps complimenting me on everything I do, say, cook, wear, sit on, touch, breathe, think. Hey, come on. So, look, we just won't see him. That's all. No, oh. he's your best friend. Come on. Oh, I wanna... so? So I want to try there. What would you think if I got together with Charlie? You know, on, on, on my own. Just just the two of us to try to get to know each other. What do you oh, think? Oh, honey, I'd love you for it. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think you and Charlie are going to do? Oh. <laughs> what do we do? We'll go for lunch. We'll talk. Have a few brews. Pick up some chicks. <laughs> time right where you've gone out to exercise no i finished the exercise is trying to get it out of the closet <laughs> tomorrow i push it back in <laughs> oh wow do you ever look terrific boy you haven't dressed so good since you went for an extension on your unemployment <laughs> well, i'm going to lunch with joe's friend charlie and uh, i changed my clothes four times already brenda what do you wear to meet a guy you don't like you're asking the wrong person. Stop it. Hey, listen, Rolf, you don't even like him. Why are you bothering so much? Well, it's this dumb need I have to deal with things head on. You know, I haven't told you how I felt about Charlie because I didn't know if it would bum you out. I didn't even know you met him. Yeah, I saw him and Joe coming out of the elevator the other night. And he acted just like he did with you. Yes. The minute he knew I was related to Joe, he told me how terrific I was, how great I was dressed, what a great sense of humor I had. You know, you couldn't believe a word he was saying. So you felt the same way I did? I thought he was the most wonderful man I've ever met. <laughs> Good friend, he's not sincere about any of it. Well, I'd rather have an insincere person say nice things about me than have a sincere person say the truth. <laughs> you stop that. Brandy, you have to understand. All my life I've been fighting to be an individual. And now suddenly, somebody likes me because I'm married to Joe. I mean, I remember meeting married women at parties. Sometimes you wouldn't even hear their names. You hear, this is my wife, as in, this is my arm. <laughs> How many women have licked that? How many women have figured out a way to be individuals, you know, and make an impact on their own? And what about Ma? Not that much of an impact. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, are you alone? Yeah, sometimes, but then aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, do you plan to eat here alone? Why? Can't I eat here alone? Look, lady, you wouldn't like it here. I mean, uh, you wouldn't like a lot of loud talk about women, lots of drinking, uh, maybe some rough language, would you? Why not? Sounds a lot like my bridal shower. <laughs> Look, uh, why don't you tell me the truth? Uh, <laughs> 
You don't like women coming in here unless they're escorted by a man, right? That's right, and we particularly don't like them coming in here trying to find the man to escort them. Hey, now, wait a minute. You're not going to make trouble, are you, lady? Oh, no. No, no. Ladies never make trouble. I figured I'd just come in, curtsy, and leave. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Burke. Hey, Julie, huh? Hey, uh... Listen, I'm sorry I didn't call ahead and clear her. Oh, I didn't know she was with you. Uh, <laughs> hey, the greatest outfit in the world. Oh, yeah. Wash and wear, travel's great. <laughs> oh, even better. Uh, your table's not ready for a couple of minutes. No sweat. We'll uh, wait at the bar. If it's good, next time I bring all my girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a uh, scotch and soda. Rhoda? Uh, I'll have a brew. <laughs> So how's the old man? Joe? He's fine. Yeah, he looks great. You're really taking good care of him. Oh, well, what's a wife for, right? Right. <laughs> hey, I like that, uh, whatchamacallit there on your head. What do you call that? Hair. Hair. <laughs> hey, how's it going there? Yeah. So, Rhoda, uh, well, what are we doing here? Hmm. I mean, what did you want to talk about? Okay, Charlie, uh... It's a little tough to get into. I mean, uh, can you give me a minute? I mean, you talk. Me? Wait a minute. You call this meeting. I mean, I can't just stand here and uh, talk to you like you're some girl I'm taking out. Well, why not? Well, no, I can't, I can't do that. Sure you can. No, I, I don't well, what do you think say so. to them that's different than you would say to me? Well, I'd uh, tell them things about my life, you know. Well, like what? Well, like, um... Well, like when I was nine years old. It was Christmas. Boy, I was really a poor kid. He had no money at all. The only presents we got came from the welfare worker. <laughs> I got a, a hanky and an orange. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. That really is. Boy, now why couldn't you tell me that? Are you kidding? You're my best friend's wife. I don't want to come on to you. That was a come on? That beautiful, that touching story was a come on? Works every time. <laughs> Table's ready, Mr. Burke. Uh, listen, Charlie, uh, excuse me, that, uh, that story, that, that lovely story you just told me, that wasn't true. Well, sure it was true. That's not the point. Lots of things are true, but they don't work. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you mean. Look, well, all right, I'll give you an example here. Uh, the story I just told you about when I was nine, yeah. right? It was Christmas. Well, right. the next year, when I was ten, my father had a job. We had a tree. I got a few toys. Uh -huh. That's it, see? Nothing. 